magic. So do get in touch and I'll read out a whole heap of them after we watch Wiz Wiz a Bang Bang. Whiz, whiz, bang, bang! We plunge to the bottom of the seas and take to the skies in search of the perfect inventions, faster than a speeding bullet, heavier than a death metal band, and more bonkers than your maddest physics teacher. And today, we're taking Rhonda... ..up, up and away, using only balloons. Meet Rhonda. Even though she's 12 and she's a girl, she doesn't like the colour pink or putting on makeup. <laughs> what Rhonda really loves doing is playing her trombone. She's only been learning for a few months now and she's getting quite good at it. Rhonda, welcome to the Wiz Wiz Bang Bang Workshop. What do you think? Well, it's pretty cool. I like the seagull. Oh, yes. We can pretty much build anything here. What's the invention? A flying machine. Hmm. Now, there are flying machines and there are flying machines. What makes this invention different? I've got a balloon to lift me up, an engine and a propeller, a steering controls. The propeller will help me move around and skis to land on. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah, that is different. Skis. Uh-huh. So you can land on snow. Uh-huh. Or on water. Yeah. Brilliant. But why do you want a flying machine? Well, I thought it would be really cool because, like, you could travel, there'd be no traffic and, like, you'd go to school in it and all that. I think Wiz Wiz Bang Bang can definitely do this for you. There's a couple of things we need to consider. It's time for a benchless bench test. Ralph! Ralph! Fred. Ralph! Fred. Where are you? Around. Oh. Ralph is in there somewhere. Come on. Where are you? Oh, Ralph! Meet Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. How are oh, you? Okay. Rhonda has got a fantastic invention for a flying machine. OK. Give so, it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hopefully going to teach you something that you need to consider for the invention. So I'll give that to you. First things first, we've got to get the balance right. So let go and see what's happening. Oh, it's not bad. It is floating up slightly. One too many, Greg. Yeah, I can solve that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ralph. Right, let's try that see if that's balanced. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So now it's time to turn on your propeller. Look at that. Ah. I think we've got a bit of a, prob a problem there, Rhonda. Don't you? Yeah, it's just going in circles. Oh, it wouldn't go anywhere, I'd just turn round and round. Yeah, it's not very much of a flying machine, really, is it? No. no. But don't worry, with all inventions, you meet a problem, and you solve the problem and move on. Okay. That's what inventing is, right? Okay. I know just the people we need to see to solve this one for you. But you might need to get a warm jacket on the way. Come on. Right. I'm taking Rhonda to Bad Kleinkeheim in Austria to visit their annual hot air balloon fiesta, which attracts top balloon enthusiasts from all over the world. She's here to find out how hot air balloons fly and get her first taste of being up in the sky. Right, Rhonda, so it's not as cold as I thought it would be. There is some snow, but we're not here to see that. We're here to see them! Whoa, they're huge! Aren't they amazing? What do you think? They're brilliant. They're so... They look like unreal. They're just so big. Look at them up in the sky! I know. They look so peaceful and slow. Yeah. Gas. So in here gets really, really hot and hot air rises. 
right? So you fill this with the hot air and up you go. If you want to go up even more, you burn them again and that makes it even hotter. Woo! Up you go. As easy as that. Dead simple idea. Right, Rhonda, it's time to get rid of all this cold air. Replace it with hot air. Woo! <laughs> Look at that! You're inside the balloon, which is going to get full of hot gas and lift you right up. Why is there a big patch up here? What it's for is you see all these pulleys, as those are pulleys and wires. When you're in the basket, you pull on them and it opens those flaps. And what happens is that lets some of the hot air out. And that means you can slowly descend. So you're excited? Yeah, I can't wait to get off. Brilliant, let's go. Ronda, what have we just discovered? That I'm scared of heights. That you're scared of heights. Yeah, a little bit ironic, because yeah. you want to do a, a flying invention. Mm -hmm. Flying is flying, no matter what height you're at. Do you still want to make a flying invention? Yeah. Yes. But what we need to do is find just a nice, gentle height where uh -huh. you feel comfortable. Okay. okay. So I've tethered the balloon down to some strong people and some cars. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're going to go again, nice and gentle. Okay. Alrighty? Mm -hmm. Feeling good? Yep. All right, here goes. How was the lift off? That's fine. This is a good height. OK. That's so we'll hold it there. How gentle does that feel? Uh-huh. It feels really smooth. Compare it with a car. I know. A car's more sort of fast and bumpy. Mm. OK, so this is the height that we want your invention to go uh -huh. to. And you're going to be comfortable with that? Yeah. Brilliant. So we can still do a flying invention. Yeah. Ready to land? Uh-huh. Here we go. Oops. Here it is. <laughs> It's time for Bonkers Science. Wigs on, hands off. Remember, don't try these at home. Joey and Patrick from Shropshire got in touch and they said, Greg, you know those balloons that you hold at the fairground and they float? How's that work? Well, in order to have floating balloons, you have to fill them with a gas that is lighter than air. And there are two type gases. One, there's hydrogen. Two, helium. And I'm going to show you the difference between them. Not by holding balloons. No, I'm going to burn them. Yes. Helium first, are you ready? Lights down, please. In three, two, one. Ha ha, lights up! Not bad, right? Not bad. A little bit of a bang, but nothing special. Now to show you why hydrogen isn't used in your balloon. That one's next. Lights down. In three, in two, in one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Lights up. Yeah, explosions. But one isn't good enough. So I'm going to do three. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Lights down, please. In three, in two, in one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Lights up. Yes. Now that is hydrogen. We're in a big flame. Anyway, Rhonda came to us for a flying machine, but in our benchless bench test, she found out that a propeller at the back wouldn't help her steer. It would just make her dizzy. We decided to use helium to give us lift because hydrogen is explosive. Now, if Rhonda's going to navigate the whiz whiz bang bang flying course, she'll have to face her fear of heights because look at the size of this place. Let's get building. Wonder. Welcome to the Edinburgh International Climbing Arena. It's so big. It's huge, isn't it? But will your invention fly? Yeah. It's confidence. OK, we'll wait and see. We're going to be using them. Wow, we're both full of helium. Yeah, because we know the difference between helium and hydrogen, right? Right. Yeah. Right, let's go meet the guys who've done all the calculations. Come on. Mike, Wonder's got a question for you. Yes, Rhonda. How many balloons will it take to lift me? Well, how heavy are you? 56 kilos. 56 kilograms. OK, well, one balloon will lift one kilogram. So just to lift you off the ground, we need 
56 balloons. Your harness is about 6 kilograms, so that takes it to 62. So 62 balloons will do, should do the job, but we're going to do just do a few more just to make sure we get enough lift to get you airborne. Well, I hope he's done the calculation right, and I hope you count them correctly, because too few, then you won't get off the ground. Too many, and you'll go up and up and up. That's not good. We'd better start filling balloons, then. Right, start with the yellow one. Give you some safety yellow glasses to match. <laughs> Lovely job. Right, go on then. You're the safe one, so you're blowing them up. I'll control the gas. Thank you. Woo, sorry about that. Um. Hope it doesn't fall. Right. How's it feel, Rhonda? It feels like it's trying to get up. Is it? It's trying to trying to take you away already. <laughs> okay, Rhonda, hang on to it, bring it this way. Keep hold, keep hold, oh. keep hold, keep hold. <laughs> she nearly went then. <laughs> okay, everybody let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Good job. Cold. You got it? Mm-hmm. Rhonda, now? Yeah. Okay. Right, Rhonda, we've got a lot of balloons. I want you to feel their power. Grab hold of that. Okay. Are you ready? Uh -huh. It's so heavy. <laughs> Or light, even. Uh, yes, yeah, light, but I can't lift it down. Are you right? Let go of them slightly. See how much power there is. Oh, that was close. So good, right? Uh huh. Some more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's really big. <laughs> That's not good. No. You don't want that to happen. No. What if that happens while you're up there? Down. Yeah, down exactly. Rhonda, look. We're on the roof. We've just lost seven balloons. That's not good. I think we need to make sure we tether you down. Yeah. If we don't get them back, there might not be enough lift to get Rhonda and the invention off the ground. It's time to call in the climbing squad. team have managed to rescue them, but you need to pull them down. Go on. Okay. Uh, Go on. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'll give you a hand. Uh, 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 yes. That's, uh, that's six or seven balloons that we've managed to save then there, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Thank goodness for that. Uh, we'll let them finish off with those balloons. Yeah. I've got a really cool thing I need to show you first. Come on. If Rhonda is going to successfully complete the Whiz Whiz Bang Bang Challenge and fly the course, she's going to have to be able to steer her invention and not end up going round in circles. I think Rhonda needs a few lessons in how to fly. OK, so we've sneaked away from the build. I thought, if you're going to be doing a bit of flying, I might need to get you some practice lessons. Good okay? idea. So I brought you here, going to try out a jumbo jet in a simulator. Wow. Should I close it? Yeah, pull it shut. In you go. This is Captain Rhonda on flight number WWBB. This is bound to nowhere in particular, so fasten your seatbelts. They're nice and tight. I trust you and everything, but they're nice and tight. Uh -huh. OK, parking brake is now off. Engine's coming up. I'm starting to set takeoff thrust. So you're keeping you it that? straight <laughs> on the runway. A little bit of left rudder, that's it. Very good. So that's, that's your it. steering, is it, Rhonda? Good stuff. Yeah. 
little bit of right rudder just to hold that centre line. Beautiful. 80 knots. <laughs> Is it easy to steer? No, it's quite hard. Yeah. You, you have, have to push them quite... Are they uh -huh. quite stiff? OK. Yeah. V1, rotate. So pull the stick back. Up to about 15 degrees, which is there. Spot on, spot on, and then just hold that. That's good. Positive climb. Gear's coming up. See it? Nose down a bit. Nose down a bit. Try and lock onto those crosshairs. That's good. That's good. You've got it. That's so it. You've got, to, you've got to follow that little magenta cross then, Ronda, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Is that easy or...? It's quite hard because, like, if you stop going, like, in a certain direction, it just sort of goes off the way. So it's kind of... You have to keep your mind on it all the time. Yeah. And what about the controls? Are they quite sensitive? Well, they're quite stiff. So talk me through what you have to think about while you're flying them, Rhonda. Well, you have to try to stop it from well, going too high or too low, and you have to keep it going in the right direction or you end up somewhere strange. <laughs> <laughs> like the ground. Uh -huh. <laughs> OK. Are you happy for an approach, Rhonda? Yeah. OK. So, and you push to go down, that's it. So we're going for a landing, right, Rhonda? Yep, this is the best part. <laughs> it's the best part. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah? Right, what height are we? Oh, there's the landing. Is, is that the landing strip? Yeah, it looks kind of really small. That's all right. I'm sure it'll get much bigger, much faster. Uh-huh. We're down to about 2,400 feet. OK. Dropping quite quickly, are we? Yeah? Well, we're definitely getting closer, Rhonda. So, talk me through the things you need to remember so that we don't crash. Okay, you have to try to, like, you know, so you know the little lights in there. What? You have to get the, like two white and two red, if okay. possible. How many whites and how many reds can you see, Rhonda? Uh, two whites. I, I make it three, three whites, three whites and, and one red. red, so we're just a tiny bit high. So, so we just, just to the left. That, but the rate of descent you've got is going to bring us into just the, to the left of the of the landing strip. There, there are and, four and a lights. little bit to the right to get back on the centre. At the line. moment, there are three That's whites. Point towards the runway, okay. and one red. Yeah. Keep the right wing down, so we're going straight down the runway. Nose up a bit White more low. because we're getting a little White low. Low. low, and point it down to the other end of the runway. Oh no, that's. Keep it going. That's four red lights, so we're keep, um, keep it going like that and. Pull the stick 50, back 40, now. 30. Race 40, positions. Ah. Yeah. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and that's the green. <laughs> Rhonda, what went wrong there? We saw our crash laddies. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda, what went wrong there? We saw our crash So, we were amazing in the sky. Uh -huh. We got the lights kind of right at one point. Then they were all red, which means we were coming down too low too fast. And, um, well, we're in one piece, but do you think that our passengers would be? Um. Probably unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Captain. First landing on a 50-ton aeroplane. <laughs> so, do we feel confident that you're going to be able to fly your test? Yep. Wigs at the ready. It's time to go bonkers. Leave the experiments to me. So, oh, Dave from Bradford got in touch. He said, Greg, show me a cool way to blow up a balloon. Well, this one is really cool because it uses liquid nitrogen. Oh, watch. Yeah, right. It's going to be quite loud, OK? I'm going to make a bang. Watch your ears. It's going to be loud, so put them on. Right. I'm going to ladle four of these into here. La, la, la. One. Two. La, la, la. la. It's like cookies. Three. Four. Put the lid on. Cold, cold, cold. Warm it up. Here it goes. You ready? Watch, Dave, watch. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, Dave, now that is a cool way to blow up a balloon. Now, if you've got any crazy science invention ideas or bonkers science questions, send them in. If you've got an invention you just can't wait to send in, then draw us a picture and send it to P.O. Box 16846, Glasgow G11 9BL. Or text WWBB and your invention idea to 62222. Charge to operators standard text rates. Please ask permission.
Now, to get Rhonda and the invention airborne, we need at least 62 helium balloons. She got a few good tips from the captain at the flight simulator, which could prove vital if she's going to overcome the challenge of steering her flying invention around the whiz whiz bang bang course. We know helium will get those balloons up into the sky, but how do we attach Rhonda to them? Back to Ratho. Whoa, look how many we found. Yeah, now, I'm not sure on the exact number, but there's definitely enough lift there to get you off the ground. But, look, there's a few bursties. Yeah. Can you see them? Uh -huh. So that's where balloons used to be. You feeling confident? Mm, I'm a little bit nervous. We're going to strap you to all those balloons. How are you going to do that? Aha, <laughs> we're going to harness you up. We can check out how much lift they've got, look. What's that one saying? 47. 47 kilograms of lift. We've got another stack over there that's exactly the same. It's two 47s, which is? 94. Wow, that was quick. So that's 94 kilograms of lift. Mm, what do you reckon? Will it lift you? Yeah, definitely. You sure? Yeah. That's the theory. Will it work in practice? Better. Rhonda? You know, we had a problem with steering. Yeah. And you had that fan on the bench set, it just spun round and round. Uh-huh. Well, because you were so good on the simulator, the eye-hand-eye -eye coordination is so good, how about we use a robot? Yeah, that looks really interesting. And we tether it to you. And you drive it round, and that pulls you round on the balloons. I get to drive it? Yeah. There you go. You take that. You have a practice. I'm going to go and see how the guys are doing. See you in a bit. Look quite comfortable. Good. Well, it's time to try to get you up in the air, isn't it? Mm. Right, guys, let's attach these balloons onto her. So, we're going to do it one at a time, OK? Right. One huge bunch of balloons on this side. OK. OK? And then the other huge bunch on the other side. What we'll then do is we'll start to burst them until we've got you in equilibrium. So you've got exactly the same amount of lift as your weight. So you'll be hopefully just, just balanced. Yeah. OK? And then we'll add a couple of balloons to you so you start to float up. OK. And then that's it. Will it work? Right, so that's the first bunch on. Yeah. And we've got to be careful with this second one uh -huh. because, if you remember, it was... How many kilograms of lift did we have? Uh, 94. 94. And you're a lot less than that. <laughs> so I'll hold you down, OK? OK. OK, how's that? Well, I think I'm going up a bit. Oh, she is! Step back. Woohoo! Talk to me, Rhonda. Right. Oh. You can hold onto that. Right. Pull it down, please. Pull it down. Right, Rhonda, so you went up in the air. Yeah. How did it feel? I'm um, kind of nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, you've got too much lift on you. Uh -huh. OK, we've got miles too much lift, which means what'll happen? I'll go up too fast. So what we've got to do now is burst some of those balloons to hit that equilibrium. OK. So we've got to have exactly the same amount of lift as your weight, and then you're there, you're balanced. OK? Let's go for it then, Mike. So how are we doing then, Mike? Pretty good, I would say. She's almost ready to go fly. Hands off, everybody. Hands off. She's not going anywhere. Hands me. off. Watch Hands me, watch off. me. Just so you know what I'm doing. Hands off. So you Hands know. off. You're going up nice and slow. Hands off. So that's it. Everyone's hands are free. Uh -huh. Step away. How's that feel? Good. Yeah? Good? Comfortable? Uh -huh. So that's you perfectly balanced. That's you at equilibrium. Uh -huh. So there's the exact amount of lift as your weight. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's you there. Uh -huh. That's you flying. You're flying! Yay. Woo! <laughs> what we're gonna do now is add just a few smaller balloons to you, uh -huh. which will give you a nice controlled ascent. You happy? Yep. Originally, Rhonda was going to steer her flying machine using a propeller. But we found out this would just send her into a spin. And there's a bigger problem. Rhonda discovered, whilst at the balloon fiesta in Austria, that she has a fear of heights. To overcome both these problems, we've attached Rhonda to her very own robot that she can control from up in the skies. So, in theory, everything's in place to complete the Whiz Whiz Bang Bang Challenge.
earlier, we decided that there was no way we were going to use hydrogen. Because it can just go bang! So we went for helium. But too much, and she'll go up, up, and away! Time to find out if Rhonda is up for the challenge. Right, Rhonda, you're there, you're balanced. We've tethered you to the robot, okay? Mm -hmm. And we've laid out a little course for you. Three balloons, you're gonna need one of them. Um, thanks. That's to pop them. Okay, so I'm gonna just take you up to your, your flying height. How are you feeling? Fine. Comfortable? Yeah. Okay, comfortable is good. Well, this is it, it's the test. Okay. How does it feel when you're going up? It's good. That is you at full tethered height. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. That's you there. So, you've got the controls. Uh -huh. Take yourself forwards. Slow and steady, that's it. <laughs> Keep moving it forwards. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Talk me through it as well. Um, it's kind of hard to control because it goes at a different speed. Can you reach it? No. OK, go right a little bit. That's it. Oh, a little bit too much. Uh. Woo she got the first one. That's the first one gone. She's going for the second one. That's it, straight forwards. Keep going, keep going. And just look at that red balloon. Aim at that red balloon. Can you, can you reach it? Can you reach it? Yeah! Yeah, second one. One more to go. Yeah! She's a pro. OK, as soon as it gets near me, I'm going to pop it. Oh, it's going for the last one. That's it, that's it. This way a bit. Come on. Careful, slowly, slowly. Go on, go on. Yeah! Oh, fantastic. Rhonda, how was that? Well, you actually got all three of them. You got all three? I think that was a very successful test. Yeah. How did it feel when you were doing it? It felt really great because I actually managed to do it. Was you nervous at the start? Yeah, I'm just kind of relieved and all that. Well done, very well done. You did so, so well. You know what? What? You're the first kid ever to have a go at cluster ballooning. Wow. That's so amazing. I think you've started your own new sport. Well, I'm totally over the moon. <laughs> well, not yet. You need a few more balloons, wouldn't you? Yeah. Hey, we'll see you next time on Whiz Whiz Bang Bang. Let's get you down onto planet Earth. just brilliant and Greg is back in somewhere at the same time where they are inventing a magnetically levitating scooter 